Securing the Salesforce org is the most difficult task administrators have. But believe me, this is what makes an administrator awesome. So today I'm going to tell you the things using which not only you'll able to secure your org but also will help you become an awesome admin by saving your company the money which they used to invest in order to get their org secure. There are multiple features in Salesforce which you can use to secure your Salesforce org. But today I'm going to discuss the four most important features that you need to consider. And the first one is managing password policies. Yes, yes, I know only your users can access your Salesforce org. But what if hackers try to guess their passwords and tries to log in? So to defeat these hackers, administrators can set the password policies in such a way that their attempts gets failed and they can secure their org from an unauthorized access. Password policies basically defines the level of complexity that a password is required to match. For example, what will be the minimum length of the password? Does the password require to have a capital letter, a special symbol or a number into it? In how many days the password will get expired automatically and there will be a need to generate a new password by the user? How many invalid login attempts are allowed? And if the user crosses the limit, then we can set the lockout period also. Lockout period specifies the time for which the users are not allowed to log into Salesforce again because they have crossed the limit of their invalid login attempts. This lockout period can be anything between 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes or it can be forever. Forever means that if they cross the uh, limit of invalid login attempts, then only the administrator can reset their password, they'll, not, they'll be locked out forever. If the administrator will uh, reset their password, then only they'll be able to log in, otherwise they'll not be able to log in. Whereas in case of 15 minutes, 30 minutes and 60 minutes, they can log in, they can like try logging, uh, logging in again after 15 minutes or after 30 minutes or after 60 minutes. So that's all what you can manage using password policies. Now let's jump into the second thing using which you can secure your org and that is restricting the login access based on the location. Yes, this is possible. If you want your users to access your Salesforce org within your office premises or within certain locations, then you can IP restrict the users um, using the login IP ranges features in Salesforce. And this login IP ranges you can set on two levels. One is the organization level and other one is the profile level. There is a basic difference between organization setting IP range on organization level and setting IP range on profile level. The difference is if you set IP range into uh, organization level and if the user tries to access the Salesforce org outside of that IP range, then they uh, they'll face a login challenge uh, in which they have to enter the OTP which is sent on their uh, email address or on their mobile number using which they, they can access the Salesforce org outside the IP range also. But in case of profile level, you cannot like users cannot access the Salesforce org at all if they are accessing the Salesforce uh, outside the IP range. But before IP restricting your users, make sure your ISP is providing you a static IP. Otherwise, you as an administrator will also not be able to access your Salesforce org. Coming down to the third feature which is restricting login access by time. Yes, you heard it right. You can restrict the user's access to Salesforce based on the time also. For example, you want your service employees or service agents or support agents to, uh, access, to access your Salesforce or only uh, from 9 a.m. till 5 p.m. and that too from Monday to Friday only. Then you can set that login time or login hours on their profile accordingly whichever you want like 9 am to 5 pm and after that they will not be able to access Salesforce anyhow like for example if they want to log in into their org after 5 pm or uh, they are still already logged in and it's already 5 pm or 5 10 or 5 15 then their account will close automatically and if they want to like if they are not already logged in they want to log in after that time or uh, they want to log in on sunday at their home or something like that they will not be able to access your salesforce org this way you can restrict your users access according to the time as well the last but certainly the best feature which roll out after winter 14 release is restricting the users email domains what that means is administrators can now uh, restrict the users email domain using this feature for example you are a company which provides your own email ids to your uh, employees or users of salesforce for example, uh, you have a company like abc.com, you have a domain like abc.com and you provide uh, your users like for example John, 
you provide an email to john as john at abc.com and you want john to use this email address only in his salesforce account not any other personal email address or any other address which he wants to so you can ip restrict the users using this email uh, uh, restricting email domains you can set the domain as abc.com or whatever else if you want and the users will not be able to enter any other email address except the uh, which has the domain except the abc.com using these four features you can secure your all from an unauthorized access but what if i tell you that there is a tool in salesforce which will automatically analyze the flaws in your org and tell you that what needs to be done in order to make your org secure want to know about it this tool is called as health check tool and this tool scans your complete salesforce org and compares its security and sharing settings with that of salesforce industry standards or the salesforce baseline standards and provide you a detailed report in terms of security that where does your uh, salesforce org stands in terms of security uh, in terms of different different security and this detailed report has a three point scale uh, there are three points one is high risk second is medium risk and third one is meets the standard there is a related list of high risk which contains all the security settings which are at high risk and they are compulsory to be changed in order to make your salesforce org secure second pointer is medium risk all the security and sharing settings listed on this uh, like medium risk related list are recommended to be changed in order to make your salesforce org more secure but they are not compulsory to change and the third one is meets the standard it contains all the security and sharing settings that are already meeting the salesforce baseline standards of security that means there is not uh, that like there is no necessary necessity to change the these settings from there uh, and to make your salesforce org more secure using this health check tool the main benefit of using this tool is that it provides a link right next to the security setting that needs to be changed for example uh, if there is a security setting which is listed into high risk related list so there is a link right next to it which is called as edit and over clicking on, uh, on that edit link you will simply go to that security settings page and you can edit it over there you do not need to go for each and every security settings page through the setup menu there are links over there only so this makes it beneficial and easy for the salesforce administrators to get the org more secure also make sure that you do this health check test every once in a while because these salesforce baseline standards keep on changing as per the industry standards so to keep your salesforce org secure do this check regularly every once in a while means like every month or every two months or every three months whenever you get the time because after all it's all about the security of your org so that's all what you need to do to secure your salesforce org and if you have learned something from this video or if this video helped you out to make your salesforce org more secure then give it a big fat thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the salesforce help channel on youtube especially if you're watching this video on facebook there's a link down in the description just go to that link it will take you to the youtube channel page and just hit the subscribe button because we are the only youtube channel coming out with the great content all related to salesforce every week so what are you waiting for go and subscribe so see you next week until then bye bye take care